What up, YouTube? I am back with another reaction video. I am reacting to Nike commercial starting Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick is the ex-NFL player who kneeled during the national anthem in protest against social injustice and police brutality in America. I am sure everyone heard about the backlash going around about Nike commercial. I wanted to, I wanted to react and finally speak on this entire situation. I found two videos on YouTube that I want to react to concerning this situation. However, after watching both videos, I feel the second video was mainly covered in the first video, so I will only react to the main video, which is a Nike commercial. So here's my reaction to Nike commercial starting Colin Kaepernick. If people say your dreams are crazy, hmm. if they laugh at what you think you can do. I see that a boy, a boy wrestling, wrestling with no lids. That ain't a powerful statement. I don't know what it is. Stay that way. Because what non-believers. Oh, that was, was that the uh was that what I thought it was? Oh snap. I just that's the that's the lady boxer because right there. The boxer lady Muslim boxer. Is that calling lady. a dream crazy is not an insult. It's a compliment. Yeah, they say calling a person dream crazy is not a is not a is not an insult. It's a compliment. Calling a person dream crazy is not an insult. It's a compliment. If that ain't powerful, I don't know what is. Look at that don't lady building ball no lid. Or the fastest in the world. Be the fastest ever. Say, don't try to be the fastest in your school or in the world. Be the fastest ever. Don't picture yourself wearing OBJ's jersey. Picture OBJ wearing yours. Y'all pay attention now. They say, don't picture yourself wearing OBJ's jersey. Picture OBJ wearing your jersey. That's powerful. Don't settle for homecoming queen or linebacker. Do both. Don't sell it for homecoming queen or linebacker. Do both. Do both. Never limit yourself. Lose 120 pounds and become an Iron Man after beating a brain tumor. You see that? He beat a brain tumor, then lost 100 some pounds and became an athlete. Don't believe you have to be like anybody to be somebody. Say, don't believe you have to be like anybody to be somebody. You are already somebody just for being you, just for being alive. You are already somebody. Think about that. If you're born a refugee, don't let it stop you from playing soccer for the national team at age 16. Look at that. How powerful is that? A 16 year old playing in the nationals with grown men running up and down the field playing soccer with grown men at 16 years old. At 16 years old. Don't become the best basketball player on the planet. Be bigger than basketball. Believe in something. Say, don't become the best basketball players on the planet. Just become the best ever. Become the best basketball player ever. Thing. Even if it means sacrificing everything. When they talk about the greatest team. Say, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. If that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. I want to I I play that one more time, that part alone. Even if it means sacrificing everything. When they talk about the greatest team in the history of the sport, make sure it's your team. If you have only one hand, don't just watch football. Play it at the highest level. The Terminator in the Power State. That man that went from college playing for UCF, now playing in the pros. Hmm? It went from college football to playing in the pro with one arm. Got two arms and one hand. Come on, come on, man. Y'all don't see, I don't see the strength and the motivation behind this. I don't, I don't know what is. If you're a girl from Compton, don't just 
become a tennis player. Become the greatest athlete ever. Yeah, that's more like it. So don't ask if your dreams are crazy. Ask if they're crazy enough. You hear that? He said, don't ask if your dreams are crazy. Ask if they're crazy enough. That's powerful right there. It's only crazy until you do it. Just do it. Like Nike like say. Got these beats, bro. And I just want to ask. That's why I want to react to this video. Because as you can see, it's more to that Nike commercial than just Colin Capen it. Yeah, he made a big, yeah, he make a big, he took a big stand two years ago. But it's more than just that to that video. Y'all see all that motivation in that video? A child wrestling with no lids? A 16-year-old playing in the Nationals with grown men? Huh? The female in a wheelchair with no lids driven two basketball at one time? Huh? Did y'all see all that in that video? But it's, it's crazy that with all that in that video, the only thing the world can find and talk about is Colin Kaepernick. Like, the whole video is all about him. The whole, my bad, the whole commercial is all about Colin Kaepernick. And it's not. It's not. It's just proving it right there. It's not just about Colin Kaepernick. It's bigger than him, man. It's bigger than him. It's, big, it's, it's, it's about people that, that that did not give up on themselves, did not give up on life, and continue to work hard to achieve their goal, and then they where they want to be. Like Nike say, just do it. Just do it. Don't just, don't just do this. Don't just talk. Just do it. The commercial proof is right there. It's not all about Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, that was a powerful thing he did, but there's also other people that also did powerful things that was in worse that was in worse situations and worse predicaments than what he was in. The, the dude, the, I don't know his name, the guy that went to UCL with one home. And he's a professional basketball football player making millions now. And on the starting lineup at every game. Venus Serena, how many records she done broke? The Williams, how many, how many records she done broke? Come on, man. What more can I say? I don't see the reason why that commercial is all about Cole and Kaepernick. Like, he was a voice. Okay, yeah, they use his voice. So I guess he was the main part. But I'm looking at the bigger picture. It's bigger than just Cole and Kaepernick. And that's what, that what America needs to stop focusing on. Stop focusing on the negative and look at the whole positive behind it. Because I don't, I don't feel a reason. I don't see a reason. To, to go out and burn everything that I bought from Nike. I would have donated if I see my money go down the drain. Like that. I would have donated everything that I bought from Nike. Go get to a homeless person. Go to one of the, the four shelters around my city and get to the homeless person. Or go to the, the, the thrift store and donate it there and let them resell it for profit. That's just my opinion. Now, all y'all out here burning all your Nike stuff you own, Nike don't care. They already made their money off you. They done made a profit off you already, so... You can burn it. You can cut it up. You can do whatever. You, you're free to do whatever you want to do with it. And what is that going to prove? Because it, because what is that going to prove? Because y'all burning and destroying everything that you bought from Nike. That's not going to prove nothing. That's not going to change nothing. You got people looking at it like, oh, look at this idiot. You know, paid a hundred dollars for these Jordans and these tennis shoes, and they want to burn them up, set them on fire. Really? Come on, y'all. Y'all got to look at the bigger picture. Stop looking at the one small thing. And look at the entire picture as a whole. See the bigger picture. And with that being said, America, we need to do better. We need to do better. We need to do better, America. That Colin Kaepernick can take a stand like that for something that he believe in, we need to take a stand for what we believe in. No matter what the outcome be, we, we, me, me, and other people, and the rest of America need to take a stand for what we believe in. That's why they say stand for something or fall for anything. And me personally, I'd rather stand for something. I would number I'd rather stand for something. No, no matter the cost, I'd rather stand for it. You know what I mean? It's just that simple. I'd rather stand for something that fall for anything. You know? You gotta be you gotta be a strong minded person to take a stand like that. You gotta be a strong minded person. And make it so bad, everybody saying that 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 I don't know if if America missed the reason that he took that that Colin Kaepernick took that kneel two years ago, but I understand it. He did it because of what? He did it because of what? 
because of because pro, he wanted to protest against social injustice and police brutality in America. He didn't do it because of what that flag stands for. The flag stands for more than just the veterans that died at war years ago and today. The flag represents more than just that, more than just racism and everything else that it re represents. The flag represents equal justice for everyone. The flag represents a lot. And it's not, and we're not living up to it. Everything that that flag is supposed to stand, Amer everything that America flag is supposed to stand for, America's not living up to it. Because everybody don't get equal justice. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody in America don't go through police brutality. And I can keep on, I can continue to go on and on and on, but I'm just point out what this message was about. That American, our American flag means a lot. And America has not been living up to it for a long time. Me, I can vouch from 2000 to right now. That's how long my eyes been open. Since since 9-11, that's when my eyes been open. That's, when, that's how long my eyes been open to the truth. You know, I don't know if nobody else in America admit it, but I will. America have not been living up to everything that the American flag stands for since 2000. We're now in 2018. So I can vouch for the last 18 years that America have not been living up to everything that that flag represents, that that flag is supposed to mean. So this is my reaction to the Nike commercial starter in Kaplan, Colin Kaepernick. If you like this reaction video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment, and share this video.